I was originally started by my mother and father, A.C. and E. Rosenland in 63, where they hired earth moving plant out to the Brisbane City Council. And from there it grew, uh, and in 1975 a company was incorporated, Rosenland Construction Propriety Limited, and that company is still, go, still going, and it still hires plant out to the Brisbane City Council. We initially started off doing plant hire, and then we moved into civil contracting, excavating for high-rise buildings and roadworks and subdivisions. Well, we've been involved in lots and lots of demolitions. Um, some of the more significant ones, the Royal Brisbane Hospital, the Princess Alexandra Hospital, the Prince Charles Hospital, Bogger Road Prison, Festival Hall, Lang Park, uh, Gold Coast Hospital. Gold Coast Hospital was the biggest. Tennis and Power Station demolition. Brisbane City Hall, we did the demolition and all the excavation for that. That was very, it was, I felt proud to do that because it's part of Brisbane's heritage. The photographic archive really just started casually and Ryan really got into it um, when he got involved in the company. So he's principally responsible for the photo archive. Our demolition techniques uh, advanced to the point where a picture says a thousand words and so that, that's where the impetus came for us to start archiving a lot of our photos. We made the photos publicly available because we just believe that they, it's the best place for them. They're, someone might find them useful in documenting their history and so we just felt like we should make them publicly available. I think Rosenland contractors were awarded the award this year for their effort to go above and beyond uh, digitising and making accessible their collection. So I think 100,000 images digitised was the first thing that really showed us this business is serious about celebrating the history. I think what really captured our attention was the scale and generosity of the efforts to digitise the the collection. I don't think there's any point shying away from the fact that demolishing buildings can be contentious and that you have it, you could go one or two ways. You could have those photographs and keep them in a box and not share them, or you could actually share them and make them available to people. And I think it's that it's that impetus and initiative to do that where quite easily it would have been easy to not do anything. I think similarly people will um, go back and look at these photographs and they tell us about Queensland at the time, but they also do tell us about the buildings, the people, the place that, that makes up Queensland. I, I just felt humbled, I just felt humbled that people would see so much history in, in our photographic me memory. It's, it's, it's amazing, I'm, I'm, I'm still humbled by it all. It's a, and I'm, I'm glad that we can, we can show uh, future generations what Brisbane was like and um, the changes through the generations.